Alright, how's it going everyone? I figured I'd do a trade day as I'm trying to get this milestone Datsuk off my hands. So, um, I figured I'd do a trade day for you guys here on YouTube as, uh, I just had to cough there. So, uh, that will be cut out, uh, hopefully because that doesn't sound too, uh, pleasant. I didn't think that was going to happen, but whatever, nonetheless. Um, so first up we have Patrice Bergeron of the Boston uh, Bruins. Only looking for about, uh, 25k for him or so. His price is starting to go back up. Uh, I will take some trades for him though, um, so if you guys are looking for Patrice Bergeron, go ahead and get your hands on him. Uh, next is a Hut Live Matt Niskanen. There's not very many of these on the market, and I don't very, I don't think there's very many of them of them left in general. I have to watch what I'm saying, as I'm, as I'm not like an idiot. Um, I don't think there's many left in general. I like using the Matt Niskanen. He's really fast. He has a half decent shot, and uh, he can hit some people pretty well. So that is another fun thing about him. Uh, next up, you have the great one, Wayne Gretzky. Uh, just an absolute monster to use. Has just ridiculous hands and does not get knocked off the puck at all. Uh, that shot is absolutely blistering. And uh, I think he plays a little bit better for an 89 skater. I uh, can't really hit anybody off the puck, but the great one never really did that. Looking for about 175k for him as his price is going also um, back up. Um, next up is the only one in the world. Uh, the last one in the world, an Oliver ekman Larsson player of the game with the Swedish flag in the world. And I'm looking for about 130,000 bucks for him. I, I would take as low as like 150k, um, but I do know he is the last in the world. No one else has a Oliver ekman Larsson with the flag, um, which is just absolutely beastly. So this is the only card in the world, and uh, he plays really well. Um, so if you want to send me a trade for this this card too, um, go ahead and do it. But uh, like I said, last card in the world, Oliver Ekman Larson, player of the game. Uh, next up, Milestone Pavel Datsuk. Uh, absolutely insane card, to say the least. Um, just basically can go end to end with Datsuk every time and then rip a shot, top corner, um, without a problem. Like, he's just stupid to use. Stupid awesome. Every category, the guy can do everything in the game. Um, his last sold price was over a million pucks, so I'm definitely looking for over a million pucks in trade. Um, I would, uh, rather take a trade for a, uh, regular Ovechkin and, like, 500k or 400k, whatever, or a regular Datsuk and, like, four or 500k or a regular, um, Crosby and like four or five hundred K. I would even take um, a Jonathan Tays or Evgeny Melkin and like six or seven hundred K. Um, those trades I'm a lot I'm gonna take probably a little bit better than um, a bunch of players. I know somebody had offered me like a team of the year Kane, a team of the year uh, JBR, a uh, Hot Live Suitor and uh, um, Hot Live Suitor and the other one was a Stanley Cup edition Joe Thornton. And like the value is there but I would I just don't wanna sell the four players, which was part of the problem. Um, knowing that Datsuk is a milestone, there's only one on the market, and uh, very little people have one of these cards. I'd say probably there's less than 10 of them on Xbox. Um, it is just absolutely beastly for money-wise. So looking for over a million pucks for Pavel Datsuk, probably around 1.3, 1.4, um, but would go as low as 1.1, I think. Or so. So Pavel Datsuk, milestone, absolutely amazing card. And then the back end of it, a Mikkel Granlund, um, just a hut live. Not very many left, about 10k, 15k for him. Um, 89 skating is pretty good. The shot, 87, and hands, also very good. Plays like Pavel Datsuk, or, or plays like Wayne Gretzky a lot, I find, uh, with the Granlund. Uh, next up, milestone Gabner with the 92 skating and the 90 shot. Or not milestone, hut live, sorry. Um, also a very, really good fast card to play on the wing. Uh, really good sniper I like. Get really good breakaways with uh, Grabner. And there's not many left of the um, 85s. I know there's a couple 87s, but this one is an 85. Not many left. Looking for about 20, 25k for him. Uh, Alexander Steen. Um, this is a Sochi card, I'm pretty sure. Is it? Or is it just the Hot Live? No, it's the Blues card. Um, so uh, Hot Live Blue Steen. Again, very, very balanced card. Uh, looking for about 10, 15k. Really like how he plays. Uh, next up is the Hot Live Helm, the 85. Uh, very, very fast, and that's about it, I find, for him. Um, he's pretty good on fast for backhand forehand breaks, but um, other than that, I don't find that I can get a lot of good shots with him. He get, gets me a couple gritty goals, but not too much um, that I wouldn't be not against trading him. So 15k for him, or 20k by now. And finally up, Mikko Backlund, or Michael Backlund, sorry, not Mikko Backlund. Another very well-rounded card like Alexander Steen that I do enjoy playing with. 
Very fast, very good shot, very good hands, very good offensive card to use. So these are the cards that I have up for trade for you guys. Um, obviously the big um, section being right here, so this is probably worth about 1.5, 1.6 mil in these three cards. Um, so thanks for watching the video guys. If you guys want to send a trade, it will end tomorrow around 11 o'clock at night or so. Um, so July 1st uh, around... 11 o'clock at night I will be checking trades maybe around 10 11 depending on when I get home and shit so yeah so thanks for watching guys I will check you guys next time